of your energy into this next attack! Damn you! You won't get away! Uh. He's been weakened enough that Chouts' paralysis is working! Okay, this is our chance, guys! to beat that guy and we did it together <laughs> yeah we did but I don't have much left in me after all that <laughs> he put up a good fight but we were more than prepared for him <gasps> the, the sand! don't worry Gohan can't hurt you now you were the worst enemy we ever faced but I guess the least we can do is give you a burial who's burying whom Goku and his friends are certain of their victory. However, Vegeta survives their attack with the sheer immensity of his life force. Goku and the others have used up all their energy in this life or death struggle. However, however little it may be, it is, the, it is only Piccolo and Goku who have remaining key, drawn on their meager amount. Drawn on their meager amount, they challenge Vegeta once again. Despite Vegeta's counterattacks, Goku manages to withstand them. Goku buys time while Piccolo chooses the right moment to channel the remaining key into his fingertips. Filthy Namekian! What do you hope to do with such little... Mm -hmm. Now! Piccolo! Do it! Special Beam Cannon! Vegeta narrowly dodges Piccolo's attack and frees himself from Goku's hold. G Goku! As a result, Goku takes the full brunt of Piccolo's special beam can and loses consciousness. When Goku comes to, he sees Gohan cornered by Vegeta. With his life on the line, Goku's final punch collides with Vegeta. Vegeta takes the full force of the punch and summons his spaceship in an attempt to return home. Krillin, determined to deter Vegeta from escaping, moves in for the finishing blow. But with his final breath, Goku stops him. Krillin, I'm begging you. Just let him go. I know it's selfish, but I don't, I don't want him to die. With these final words, Goku takes his last breath. Choosing to honor Goku's final wish, Chris Krillin listens, allowing Vegeta to escape. We'll bring Goku back to life with the Dragon Balls. And the next time we meet, you're going down for good! 
Krillin's final words will soon invite not only Vegeta, but even more terrifying enemies to attack Earth. However, no one can foresee that yet. As for Goku, after his death in the battle with Vegeta, Kami arranges for him to train under the watchful gaze of King Kai. Goku has grown stronger by training with his companions and battling other Saiyans. He arrived before King Kai within mere days. Meanwhile, back on Earth, concerned by Vegeta's use of the word Namekian, Piccolo decides to travel to planet Namek on a spaceship that was once used by Kami. Gohan wishes to become as strong as possible before Saiyan attacks Earth again, ignores Chi Chi, and decides to travel with Piccolo to train under him. Nearly one month later, Goku surpa surprises King Kai by quickly mastering the K.O. Kien and the Spirit Bomb. However, King Kai soon notices that Vegeta is once again on a course for Earth. Goku rushes to notify his friends and they need to revive him, uh, that they need to revive him with the Dragon Balls. He is then back on Earth within a few hours. Goku and his companions then travel to the site where Vegeta's key is, and they prepare for battle. Vegeta! I didn't expect to face you again so soon! Kakarot! If you've been revived, that means the Dragon Balls really do live up to the rumors! That's good! Listen up, all of you! If you don't want to die, you need to let me use these Dragon Balls to become immortal! <coughs> if you don't believe me, believe this! The Dragon Balls are being sought after by Frieza, the self-proclaimed Emperor of the Universe! Frieza? And I can assure you, not a single Earthling could ever match his power! Frieza is considered absolutely invincible! But if I'm granted immortality, I can kill him and spare all your lives. So if you know what's good for you, hand over the Dragon Balls! You, you gotta be kidding me! After what you did to Goku, why would we ever let you make a wish on the Dragon Balls? Yeah, no offense, but I find it hard to believe there's anyone who could be stronger than Goku anyway. Vegeta, even if you're telling the truth, I'm still not gonna let you use the Dragon Balls. And besides, the Earth is ours to defend! <laughs> Fine, then I'll just have to take them by force. <laughs> Guys, if it's okay, could you leave this one to me? You got it. <coughs> <coughs> Ooh, excuse me. My allergy's been killing me here lately, guys. Ah, anyway, all right, here we go. <laughs> Woo. Ugh. Man. All right. Vegeta, I can tell you've gotten even stronger than last time. Am I right? Naturally. You see, every time Saiyans recover from the brink of death, they grow oh, more and more powerful. So don't even think this is going to go the same way as last time. <laughs> I'm not dumb enough to underestimate you like that. If anything, I was going to say the exact same thing to you. Silence! I'm no ordinary Saiyan. I'm the prince of all Saiyans. Leagues upon leagues ahead of you. All right. Good lord. Okay. How can Kakarot outpass me? It's infuriating, but it could be to my advantage. Kakarot, what would you say to forming a temporary alliance with me to defeat Frieza? 
An alliance? It will still take some time before Frieza arrives on your planet. If the two of us train until then, we might be able to take him down together. Hold on. If this Frieza person is aiming to attack Earth, then how did you manage to get here before him? Frieza travels in a gargantuan mothership, so my more compact space pod allow me to land here much quicker. None of this changes the fact that we can't trust you. Guys, I think Vegeta's actually telling us the truth. I don't think he'd ever sacrifice his pride as a Saiyan warrior to lie about somebody being stronger than him. I don't know, it just doesn't make sense to me. If anything, I think he'd much sooner die trying to steal the Dragon Balls than sacrifice his pride. Th then there really is someone stronger than you and Vegeta? And they want to conquer Earth? I believe you, and I think we have no other choice but to join forces. With that, Goku and his companions begin cooperating with Vegeta to confront Frieza, Emperor of the Universe, who is on his way to attack Earth. While Goku and Vegeta begin training, Bulma and the others are tasked with keep keeping in contact with Piccolo and Gohan as they travel to Planet Namek. Vegeta and Goku train together, refining their combat skills using the gravity chamber developed by Bulma's father. One day, the team detects Frieza's key approaching Earth and realizes that the moment has finally come. Due to the massive size of that key, Tien decides to leave Chaozu behind while Goku and his friends travel to Frieza's expected landing point. They are attacked during their travels by Vegeta's former rival, Kui, but Vegeta has grown stronger and from training and defeats him easily. So, which one of you wants to die next? Don't start getting a swollen head just because you beat Kui, Vegeta! The door your hands are on. I might have known you'd show your sorry faces. You're even more foolish than I thought, Vegeta. Did you think teaming up with these Earthlings would put you on equal footing with Frieza? <laughs> then you're as foolish as I thought if you think I'd be relying on Earthlings. Wait. I recall Lord Frieza saying something about a Saiyan survivor that had been sent to the distant blue planet, Earth. A Saiyan who was raised on Earth? That'd be me. <laughs> a couple of monkeys flocking together. If the Saiyan race couldn't survive a little meteor, what makes you think you could survive against us? <laughs> Let's just make the last two idiots go extinct. I right, let's see if I can. Nope, I can't change anybody right now. You know that won't work. Oh my lord, hold on. What was that? Why would it not let me? Heck yeah! Let's freaking go. No, oh, fine. Since you can't finish the job, allow me. Oh shoot! I was wanting to. It's okay. Did I not block those? Oh, 
the Saiyans are a true warrior race. Don't underestimate us. I love that move. I'm the strongest fighter in the universe. Dirty fireworks. Get some of these dirty fireworks. Let's go. Bam. How the hell did a couple of Saiyans get this strong? Lord Freezer must be informed. Good lord. Let's go, Vegeta. You won't even get the chance. Goku and Vegeta have defeated D D Doria and Zarbon. As Doria attempts to flee, Vegeta deals the finishing blow. Goku is about to be is about to reprimand Vegeta for taking the life of an enemy who had given up. All of a sudden, a new enemy arrives. The Freezer Forces Elite Squadron, the Gigi Force, appear in front of them. <laughs> the first blood is mine to draw. Remember, Guldo, orders were to only kill one of them each. Don't get greedy. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Hi. I'll give you one last chance to leave this planet peacefully. I'd take it if I were you. What did you say? Ha <laughs> ha! What a gentleman this guy is, Guldo. Caring about your well-being. Damn Saiyans for getting their place. I'm gonna show you why the whole galaxy fears the Ginyu Force. Well, let's go then, Goldo. This is cool though that we're we're going oh that we're going through this and <laughs> on Earth instead on of in Planet Namek. What happened? Did he kill himself? <laughs> Vegeta becomes annoyed witnessing Goto and Goku's battle. He begins arguing that they have no time to fight one-on-one. -on -one. The Ginyu Force agrees with Vegeta's proposal and... Join up with Goto, they all come together as one to attack Goku and his friends. You maggots clearly don't understand, so I shall illustrate. We are the best of the best of the Frieza Force! Nay, the entire galaxy! Raccoon! Beta! Jace! Guldo! Ginyu! Together we are! The, the Ginyu Force! Now, men, slaughter them all! With style! I see what we got here. Dang it. I want to see the Kyle Ken rush. Take 
There it is. Oh, that's freaking cool. I'm getting excited. Goku, you okay? I've got the little guy taken care of. Hey now, it's bad manners to interrupt somebody's business. I'm not done yet. Okay. him I'm getting excited You're a little tougher than I thought I'll kill you quick you're not taking another step, Goku. This one will be my opponent. Yes, I'll be having the leftovers then. Hey, Raccoon, you owe me another chocolate parfait for being such a team player. Why can I not? Can I switch to Vegeta? Does that really count as me losing? That really counts as me losing. Okay. Um. All right. It'd be really hard to dodge that. How the hell did I get beaten by such a weakling? Goku, you okay? I've got the little guy taken care of. Done! Hey now, it's bad manners to 
interrupt somebody's business. Yeah. All right, let's go. Oh yeah, I'm spamming at this point in time. For a spirit bomb. Done. All right, let's go. Got it. Your energy with me. For a spirit bomb. Yep, like I said, at this, this point in time, I'm a scamming. You're a or spamming, my bad, not scamming. I'll kill you quick! You're not taking another step, Goku. This one will be my opponent. Done! Guess I'll be having the leftovers. I finally have one dodge. You owe me another chocolate parfait for being such a team player. Take it, there it goes. What a slug. Over here. Fits you pretty well, though. Shut your face! Boy, are you gonna waste the whole rest of the day on these piss heads? All right, I'm jumping in! Take this! I hate that I can't change. I don't get that one though. Did he just take all that? I don't know if I'm gonna be able to beat this one either. Join the party. I'm getting excited. Get ready to see my real strength. Your 
Luigi with me! For a spirit bomb! Done! Take this! Yep, I love it. Get ready to see my real strength! Gosh! It should hit him. Yep, nope, he got me on that one. I'm getting excited. You've got guts, pal. Cheese and rice, man. Taken care of. Hey now, it's bad manners to interrupt somebody's business. Jeez. Very upset by this. So I love that I just can't just enjoy the game. Are we serious? What? You're a little tougher than I thought. I'll kill you quick. You're not taking another step, Goku. This one will be my opponent. 
Guess I'll be having the leftovers then. Hey, Raccoon, you owe me another chocolate parfait for being such a team player. I just love... Oh my goodness gracious. Oh my goodness, man. Uh, wow, I can't. I I might as well just go ahead and die because I'm not going to win. You pretty well, though. Shut your face. Oi, are you gonna waste the whole rest of the day on these piss heads? All right, I'm jumping in. Reduce, reduce difficulty my tail. I don't, I don't like how I can't just instantly do a smash attack after a combo. I don't like that. I'm talking about like I can't do a smash attack. I'm getting excited. How the hell did I get beaten by such a weakling? Goku, you okay? I've got the little guy taken care of. Hey now, it's bad manners to interrupt somebody's business. Take 
Luigi with me! For a spirit bomb! Dark! Tougher than I thought. I'll kill you quick. You're not taking another step, Goku. This one will be my opponent. Done. Guess I'll be having the leftovers then. Hey, Raccoon, you owe me another chocolate parfait for being such a team player. with me for a spirit bomb What if there's a region? Pretty well, Probably not. Oh, it did. Shut your face. Boy, are you going to waste the whole rest of the day on these piss ants? All right, I'm jumping in. Your energy with I don't know if he'll dodge this or not. I'm gonna try to spam at least till we get to the game. Even the odds up a little bit. Get ready to see my real strength. I think he's looking for me. For a spirit bomb. Yeah, sometimes you look you're like yeah. Thank you, good lord, 27 times later, and I had to spam Spirit Bomb. Th this is absurd! The Ginyu Force is unstoppable! Unstoppable, I tell you! 